Hi everyone! So today it is favourites time. It is my August favourites. Because we're now like halfway through September and I haven't done it yet. So today is the day I tell you all about the products and general things that I've been loving through August. The things that are really beside me are really random. I'm just gonna put that out there. This is like the most random collection of things possible. <laughs> but they were the things I was loving, so I will share them with you. So I have like beauty products and I have other random things. So we'll do the beauty products first. Um because that's it. It's just what I want to do first. Okay. So the first thing that I was loving through August is my Naked palette. So this is the third one um, and I just love it. So this is the Naked palette and you can tell the ones that I've been loving are these two here. So that is Dust and Burnout and then these two because who doesn't love rose gold and copper, basically. And that is Buzz and Trick. This palette is just so beautiful. It basically has every colour that I love and wear loads of. Um, so if you haven't got an Urban Decay palette and you'd like one, in my opinion, number three is probably the best one, followed by the, the original. I'm not a fan of the middle one, um, naked too, but this one is a firm favourite. So, yeah, love it. It's just, it's just so beautiful. Like, how, how could you not, how could you not love this in all its prettiness? There's just such a good range of colours, starting from your, your neutrals down here, into your more coloured sort of pinks and coppers and then a full range of browns. You're getting a lot of, there we go, if I do that. <laughs> That's either. Just loads of different colored browns. And um, the good thing about this palette is it's got like a range of matte colors and a range of shimmer colors, which I really, really like. Because I like to have like a shimmer color on my lid and then I like to blend that with a matte color into like the crease. So this palette is perfect for that. And it's got like so many different colours that you can decide if you're just if you're going into the city for the day and you don't want something too sort of in your face, you can go for sort of one of the more um, calming tones, like Stranger Dust. And um, they're both very beautiful. So it's these two here. Um, strange and then dust. But if you're going out for like maybe you want to go something a bit a bit more daring. Um, so something like these colours here would be perfect for that. So yeah, just a perfect palette in general. So, love this. The next makeup product that I have been loving is my NAR Sheer Glow Foundation in Mont Blanc. So being the little pasty Irish kid that I am, Mont Blanc is the second lightest, I think. Yeah, it's the second lightest colour in the NARS Sheer Glow range, but this foundation is so good. Like, I know it says it gives you a sheer glow and it does give you that sort of very dewy look, um, which I don't totally love, but I just put powder over it to give it sort of that matte finish. But the coverage of this is so good um, and it's well worth investing in. The um, only thing I have an issue with the NARS Sheer Glow is the fact that it takes so long to blend in, um, especially if you're looking for full coverage on it. It just takes a long time, but if you're prepared to do that, definitely think about NARS. Um, it's sort of up there with um, the Estee Lauder, um, oh, what's it called? Double Wear? Like, I would put that up with that, like, those are probably my two top foundations, but for August, I was loving my NARS because 
it's just the perfect color for me um especially since i am so pale <laughs> um it applies really well it doesn't stick too much to your foundation brush if you're using a foundation brush um, I've been using the the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I find that it just applies, I pump a little bit onto my hand and then just use my brush to pick it up from my hand and put it on my face and I find that there's very little um, stays on the brush which is really really good. Most other foundations that I have kind of sort of soak into the brush. I don't know whether that's just the foundation or it's the quality of the makeup brush but the combination of this and the Real Techniques base brush is a winner in my opinion. So if you can get yourself down to an artist counter, go and check out their foundation. It is worth it. Very much so. The next product then that I have been loving, still on the beauty sort of umbrella, but it's not a makeup, is the Soap and Glory Hand Food. So this one here is just their regular one as far as I'm aware. I know they have the Sugar Crush one, but this is the one that um, I, seem, oh, I seem to reach for a lot more than the Sugar Crush one. I have it, but I just like this one more. I find sort of during sort of the end of July, sort of August, because we haven't really had a summer and it's just been really cold that my hands start to get um, quite dry. And obviously because I work in a lab, um, I have to wear gloves and things like that, so my hands just dry out really quickly. So I've been reaching for this a lot. I think I got this a few months, I smell of it. I think I got this a few months ago and just sort of in anticipation of having to need hand cream and um, just threw it in my drawer and then needed it quicker than I thought. So I've been loving that. The smell is just amazing. I think it's got, it's got shea butter, macadamia oil and marshmallow. I mean, who doesn't love marshmallow? Mm -hmm. I love me the marshmallow. I will prefer it on hot chocolate, but in this, it's just as good. So if you're looking for a nice hand cream, think about Soap and Glory. They do really good ones. And the Sugar Crush one is really nice too. Just that. The next beauty product that I have been loving is my number seven cleanse and balm. So that is it there. This basically gets used for everything. <laughs> like literally everything. So whenever I come out with shower, I put this on and then take it off because you have to take it off again. Um, I use it after I've used a makeup remover just to remove anything extra that I may have missed. It works really well as a second makeup remover. Um, I use this to prime my face with before I do my makeup. Like literally everything. So I'm nearly finished this so I'll need to get another one. But the the reason I like this is, well, it's kind of like a catch-22 thing. I like it because you have to take it off and therefore it doesn't leave your skin greasy. But I don't like taking it off because then I'm like, how long do you leave it on for before it like needs to soften your skin? You know, do you leave it on for like five minutes and then take it off or do you just put it on, rub it in and then take it off? But I normally just leave it on for about a minute or so and then just take it off with like a little cotton pad and that seems to work for me. So if you're looking for a nice sort of all round cream that you can use for moisturising, um, sort of just freshen up your face, prime your face for makeup and you don't want to be having like three different tubs for all those things, look at the number seven cleanser balm. It's not that expensive, I think it was only about nine pounds, 10 at the most, I think. I'm really bad with remembering prices of things. But number seven are a really affordable brand and they have loads of skincare ranges. Um, I would normally stick to number seven skincare 
just because it's hypoallergenic and look sometimes I can have a really nasty reaction to creams especially if it's something I've never used before so I go with the trusty old number seven that I know <laughs> I'm not gonna have a reaction to so it doesn't really have a smell it just kind of smells like cream <laughs> if you can just imagine what cream smells like but basically it says created to help your, your dry skin behave like normal skin and provide a tailored skin nutrition for healthy looking bright and beautiful skin a gentle non-drying balm that cleverly dissolves makeup and impurities to help keep skin looking clear and healthy works in one simple step leaving no residue just perfectly clean soft and subtle skin so that is definitely what this does literally got it in one so I absolutely love this and will continue to love this next I was loving this the herbal essences moisture balance shampoo so this is this is a product that I used to love years ago and I'm talking about mm, I want to say about eight years ago about that about eight years ago I used to love this shampoo and I could knit it they stopped it so whenever this was the original bottle that Herbal Essences had all their products in and then they changed to the other sort of wigglier looking bottle and they stopped doing this one which has chamomile aloe vera and passion flower extracts in it and this was my favorite shampoo ever just this is what i reached for all the time but i was so cross and upset whenever they didn't bring it in to the new range so i was in i want to say i was in tesco i think i was in tesco and I spotted this <laughs> so you can imagine my excitement when I found that they had brought it back in again the smell is just it's just oh it's just something else like I know all Herbal Essences products are amazing like their scents are just amazing but this is just something else I find with Herbal Essences that even when you wash your hair the smell disappears quite like quite quickly but this one here I can still smell this like two days after I wash my hair that's how good the smell is it just it's just so good so yeah I've definitely been loving this one so this is what the bottle looks like so the original bottle and I'm so happy you have no idea so happy they brought this back so I must go and stock up on some more to make sure they don't go out of stock again so yeah love this go and smell this that is your task to go and find this one so it's got the chamomile aloe vera and passion flower extracts go and smell that that is your job from this video to go and smell that the next products that i have like been loving through august are my random ones so the first one is a Yankee Candle and this one is the baby powder one and it literally smells of baby powder <laughs> we got given this as an anniversary present this year so we're at our friend's house and I could smell this candle burning and couldn't work out what it was I couldn't see it so all I could all I could do was smell it but I couldn't work out what the smell was and then after we got home we had also, they'd given us the candle, obviously a new one, but it wasn't until after I like started smelling this one that I worked out that that's the scent that I was smelling the whole time in their house. I just couldn't work out what it was, but gotta love baby powder. Everyone loves baby powder, right? It just smells so good. So yeah, I've been burning this one. It doesn't look like I've burned much of it, <laughs> but I have, I've been burning it for hours um, throughout August just so it's just so clean and fresh mm. I didn't realize Jackie Candle did a baby powder one but 
there you go they have a baby powder candle so if you want your house to smell like baby powder oh are you not going to focus on me then you know where to go Yankee Candle have one so I have been burning this like mad obviously not like mad because I don't want it to go away <laughs> but I've just been sort of reaching for my little burner I mean a little bit more frequently knowing that I have baby powder scent <laughs> candle so yeah random product number one the next random thing that I was loving throughout August was a coffee so at home I am not a coffee drinker very rarely will I drink a coffee whenever I'm at home so I generally have just like little small um, tubs of coffee just if we have guests over we can at least offer them some coffee um, and then for the odd time that I drink coffee I'm much more of a coffee drinker and work so I find a new flavoured coffee um, and decided I have to have it just to see what it was like so I only got the little like tester pot thing and it is this smooth caramel flavoured one so this one here and oh my word <laughs> this smells divine it smells like like salted caramel and coffee and what more do you want? <laughs> Salted caramel and coffee and this tastes divine. So if you're looking for, oh, I can get the lid on. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was much too much effort to put a lid on. So if you're looking for a really nice coffee or you're not so fussed on just traditional coffee, you want sort of a bit of a flavor in your coffee, go and get yourself this this is just the little mini pot so it's only a few pounds so you're not wasting too much money if you don't end up liking it but i promise you if you like caramel and if you like salted caramel and if you do like coffee you will really like this so i have been loving this every so often just throughout august i will go and make myself a coffee which is something i rarely do at home but because i have this I've been doing it a little bit more often so I thought I would share this one with you it's something really random but yeah, this is my August favourite so definitely a favourite throughout August the next product <laughs> that I have been loving is my dressing gown so I got this last year and basically when I'm not in my work clothes I can be found living in this bad boy. So this is also the one that Zoella has um, and she featured it in one of her favourites last year as well. And I was like, oh, I have that one too. <laughs> so it's quite funny, except I think mine's is like a bit more, a bit more worn than hers. <laughs> mine's has been washed lots and lots and lots. So yeah. So this is the dressing gown that I've been, oh, it's, it's too big for the screen. Um, it's basically like a grey, grey and black fur and then all inside is fur with sort of woolly hood, um, cuffs and two massive pockets. So basically this is what I live in when I come home from work because it's just so cosy and apologies for the wind outside it's really really bad <laughs> if you can hear that I couldn't film this any other time and the wind wasn't cooperating so yeah loving this I need to get a new one this year because this one's just getting a bit a bit old nobody likes an old um dressing gown it's starting to get to that stage where this bit here is starting to lose its softness because it's been washed so many times and it just does it's just not as nice as it used to be but whenever you love a dressing gown it's very hard to let go <laughs> which is what I'm finding so hopefully I will find a nice new replacement 
for this one. So coming into sort of the winter months, get yourself a nice dress and gown. I'll see if I can find any nice ones online and post them um, down in the description box um, for you. So been loving this, literally like all of August I wore this. <laughs> Apart from the days that I had to put it in the washing machine. Those days I cried because I couldn't wear it. Just so lovely. So yeah, I've got it just in a big ball because it's so big. And finally, the, oh, what I've done to my hair. Finally, the last product that I loved through August was a book. Hold on, too far away. So I keep all my books on my device. Other devices are available. Um, just because I have so many books and I don't have enough storage space basically to keep them all. So I found that this was a better solution just to download my books and keep them on on my Apple device. <laughs> so basically the book that I read in August was, I've just got a picture right here, because I can't show you on the, the iBook thing because it'll just take you straight to the page. It won't show me on the front page basically. So yeah, the, the book that I loved throughout August was, oh, what's happened to my lighting? Oh, it's gone off funny. I'm just gonna have to roll with it. Was Jennifer Nivens all the bright places. This book was so good. <laughs> really, really good. Um, it's basically about a guy named Finch and a girl named Violet and how they're two very unlikely people and they meet and they basically change each other's lives. Um, sort of, obviously in a good way. So sort of a little snippet about what the book is without giving basically anything away. So it says, a compelling and beautiful story about a girl who learns to live from a boy who wants to die. So, such a gripping book um, by Jennifer Niven. Oh, what have I done? I don't know what I've done. It's from Jennifer Niven. Um, I'll leave the link down, down in the description bar to where you can find it. But basically, once you start this book, you will not want to put this book down. Um, I know that this one was part of the Zoella book club, um, so that's how good it was. It is such a good book, so that's the front cover of it there. So obviously you can see the little finch for the guy and the little violet for the girl that's the two main characters in the book. Um, it's got such a beautiful story and quite a relevant story. Um, in today's society. So if you're looking for a good book, think about Jennifer Niven's All the Bright Places. So that is everything that I loved throughout August. I hope you liked it. Such a random collection of things, but hey, <laughs> that's just how August was for me. So make sure and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. <laughs>